that's the thing I'm teaching you in this video. Nobody knows you when you're down out. A little finger style variation I'm playing all the time in my videos and I got so many requests of me teaching the thing. So here we are on channel 2. Also let me know if you want to see more of these tutorials by just subscribing to the channel and letting me know in the comment section. And of course by hitting that like button. It's down below, I'm sure you know where it is. Thank you so much and do it gently again also on the second channel that goes. So let's jump into it. I'm just playing this with my fingers. Uh, you can also play it with the pick. I played it f uh, with the pick for a long time and it's a lot of fun. You just have to, you know, hit the strings with the pick that I'm finger picking. There's a little thing you can do when you play the finger picking thing that is the slap. And you don't have to see the slap as a really slapping thing in this video but more as a strum because we do a sort of balancing act between finger picking and strumming. And you should remember that when I say strum, we strum it with the index finger down. And the thing about this motion when you strum it is that you can also use the thumb to just make a percussive sound on the strings. So usually there is a strumming combined with a slap going on. If you want to uh, really jump into this technique, I made a video like how John Mayer plays the slapping techniques or you should get my course Acoustic Adventure. <laughs> but that's another story. All right, so let's jump into the main part. It starts with the C major chord, the one chord. Just play the chord, the A string followed by something in the middle. It doesn't have to be too precise. This is blues, you shouldn't be too strict anyways, right? So, and the second uh, thing is immediately the strum. So you just hit a few strings and it sounds like a C major. Now we go to the E major chord and we do a trill. So that's all of a sudden a spicy thing going on. So on that G string, we trail between the G and the G sharp, the open and fret one. And meanwhile, we play that low E. And then you play the high E. And then you play the little melody going, back, uh, going down from E to D to C sharp. So that's fret three and two on the B string as well. And when you hit that D note, you can also strum the chord gently and add a slap. It's just a cool thing. So the first bar. Now we go to the second bar, A7. So it's nothing too special. It's again strumming and the plucking thing. Play the A string. Then we pluck the D string. And then you just strum the top three strings or four. And you can add that little slap. And then you pluck them. So that's twice the high chord. Again the A bass note, the D string and again the little strum. Nice, that's the first bit. Play it slowly. Right now we go to bar three and four, D minor, A seventh and D minor again. Not yet. <laughs> okay, so D minor, we play the chord, the highest three, four strings. Of course, D minor like this. Um, we just pluck it, the entire thing, four strings, and then the top two strings. And then a little strum, but keep it small, the strum, so we don't do the strum the entire chord, maybe just the G string or the G and the B. And then you pluck the B string followed by the bass note, the D string. So that's a little special movement. It's played in triplets, so. Three notes on the second beat. The G string played with that strumming motion. The B string with the middle finger and the thumb is playing the bass note. And now we jump to the A seventh chord. And again, same, just the index finger is fretting the three strings and then the ring finger or the middle finger is playing that high G on top. The A string, the D string, and then you strum those high strings again. 
maybe with the slap. Right, and immediately after you play that, there's the D minor chord again. But only the top three strings plucked, because after that we land on the first beat of bar four, that's the downbeat, that's the thumb playing the D string. So. And now we just play the chord, thumb, index plays the G string, and then you do the strum again, and then you go back down to the uh, G string again with the index finger. And now is the chromatic line walking up to F major, where we are in a different spot. Cool. Um, so we walk from D minor, D to D sharp to E to F. D string, G string, and then strum. And then your pinky goes to F sharp, fret 4 on the D string. And the rest stays the same. You just play the same picking pattern. Amazing, right? And now we go to the C major chord and the bass note goes down via C, B, A sharp, and A. Because that A is the new chord, the A seventh. So from D minor. And then you on the A you plug the entire chord. The A, the G, the B and the D strings. And then you follow it by a G string, the B and the E on top. <laughs> And then the G string again. And that's it. That's the C to A7 chord. And then the end, you just play a D7 chord and you just do a random picking pattern. That just comes to mind. You can do whatever you like. There isn't really something specific going on. So I'm playing the bass note with the top three strings in the first. And I'm plucking the chord. And then do the slap and the strumming thing. And then the highest string. Thumb on D, index on G, and strum again. Open D string, G string, strum again, and then the B string again. So it sounds like this. And then the five chord, the G seventh. we are at the home chord. So, plucking the top three strings with the bass note together, plucking again, strumming, and that strum is playing the pinky on the B string, so the D notes. Bass note again, and then a little strum, but while we do the strum, we also do a little slide action from D to E flat and back to D. And then open B string. And there we are again. So now I play a little variation, I'm going a little higher up the neck. And let me just see if I can reproduce the thing. This is actually from a video I recorded two years ago in the United States of America. In um, where was it again? This part was actually in Death Valley, and I just played three blue songs, and I also played this, and I laid, uh, wrote a little variation, going higher up the neck, and it's like this. So again, a trill. So we start off the same, C major. And then we play the E major, again the trill, the B string, a slap on the G string, and then the B string again. And then to the A7, just a regular A7 voicing, the easiest you can find, middle and ring finger on the D and the B string, fret two. So thumb on the A string, index on the D string slap and a strum and then we go higher to fret 5 and 6 on the G string and we do a trill. So we sort of copy what we played before but now on the A 7th chord. So we play the A note in the bass, a trill from 5 to 6 on G and then on the B string fret 5 and 5 on the E string as well. 
that's just an A chord right there. And then D minor, that's the chord we're going to, but now play it over here, the bar chord, fret 5 on the A string. D minor. So we're going to keep that F on top, strum, and again the F on top with the index finger. So the index finger is doing a lot of things. And then to A7, playing the same chords, uh, the same strings, only the bass note goes to the E string. So the thumb goes to the A over here. So you play the entire chord, the B string, the strum. And now we go to D minor, just playing the power chord basically, 5, 7 and 7 on A, D and G. And here's the chromatic line, do, 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 do. but you can also just play it from an open D string, I suggest you do that. And then I think I played... So the F over here with the F in the bass on the low E string. So thumb, index on the D string, strum, and then to the F sharp diminished, like this. So fret 2 on the low E, we skip the A string, fret 1 on the D string, fret 2 on G, fret 1 on B. And then, that's a cool alternate thing you can throw in there it sounds great because we keep on going with that chromatic line this is also what I explained in the analysis video where some folks chose to play the G in the C chord uh, at that last part because we keep on playing that chromatic line F F sharp C over G and then I even added one more it's an E over G sharp real quick so And then to A, so we F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A. That's a cool line going on there, right? So from the uh, C over G, and then I play this little chord. G sharp, fret four on the A string, fret two on the D string, and fret four on the G string. This is sort of a secondary dominant again to the A seventh chord over here. So. Again, the same strong pattern on the A7. Um, yeah, and then just play a D7 chord. You can also play it over here, which is fun. So 5 on A, 4 on D, 5 on G, and 3 on the B string. Just that same picking pattern with the strumming and the plucking. And then to G7. The same picking pattern we saw before. So let me play it slowly one time for everyone. Second round. That is it. That is nobody knows you when you're down and out the way I like to play it, the way you've seen me play it countless of times. And please, if you really want to understand the chord structure and what is happening on earth in this blues, I suggest you check out the analysis video I made. It's linked below and it's a lot of fun to think and to learn how to play the piece actually. That's it. Cheers. Goodbye. Thank you for watching.